Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial here in Autodesk Fusion 360. Uh, this is part of our tutorial basic series. You can see the various lessons, um, projects here on the left. There's also a playlist here on our YouTube channel. If you subscribe, you'll keep up to date with all of the latest and you can always go back and view any of these videos anytime you want, as well as open up any of the project files, um, download them, play around with them yourself. So today we're going to be looking at another one of the create tools. We've already done extrusions, we've done sweeps, we've done lofts, and now we're going to look at the revolve tool. So the revolve tool is another way of creating complex um, objects. Um, usually this is made from a profile, and the profile will be spun around an axis. So you could imagine it's something a little bit like what you could turn maybe on a lathe, for example, if you were um, a machine shop. So. As usual, we are going to start with creating a sketch, and this time we're going to create our sketch on um, the sideways plane. So we will uh, go there and look at, so this is our right side plane, and we're going to draw a profile of something. Um, now, uh, in these basic tutorials, we're not really creating anything particular, um, just random shapes, um, just so you can learn the tools. And um, get familiar with things before we move on to some more advanced tutorials where we start actually creating things. Um, so we'll create a shape here. Uh, let's get our uh, line tool and we'll start at the origin point. We'll drag that line tool up and let's go up um, 30 and then we'll grab our line tool again and we'll come in um, here we'll go uh, 14 millimeters at an angle of 135 degrees and then we'll go up again let's say another 20 millimeters and up again another 10 now if this starts to get a bit busy you can delete those dimensions they are not needed we can always check them again later if you want to measure them um, using the measure tool. And now we'll bring this in this way. A straight line. Let's say by 50. And now we'll choose uh, an arc. So we'll make this a three point arc and we'll start at the end point there. A second point we'll make somewhere along here. We'll arc that upwards like so. And then continue this, we'll line that up like that. And we'll close this off. Okay, so there's our shape. Okay, we know what this is, but that is going to be our shape that we are going to revolve um, around the central axis. So if we go to finish sketch, um, if we look at our sketches here, you'll see there it is, and we'll move this sketch object, select everything, and we'll drag it this way a little bit, doesn't want to move, and we'll edit the sketch again. Try moving them in here. Modify and move. Nope. So sometimes you'll find it gets locked to a particular origin point. So if we go to delete coincident, uh, we should now find it will move, I hope. There we go. Okay. And we got to finish sketch. All right. Now uh, we'll create a new sketch. It's going to be on the same plane. It's just going to be a straight line and finish sketch. Okay, so that's going to be the axis around which we're going to revolve our shape. So now we go to create, we go to revolve. Um, so our profile we've already selected here. And then the axis will be this. And there we go, you can see it gets it revolved around that axis making our shape. Now, 
Uh, we can choose how many degrees we want to go around. Right now this is 360. We could make it 180, for example, and it would just go halfway. Yeah. Um, you can choose how many degrees you want this to go around, so we'll make this 360. And there we have it. Okay. And our operation will be a new body. Um, Two-sided or one-sided doesn't really make much difference in our case. And uh, we'll just go to OK. And there now we have our um, shape that's been rotated around. So uh, you could use this to make a, a vase or anything really that you could, say, create on a potter's wheel or you might create on a lathe. Anything that could be spun, um, you would create from this. So this particular one... I uh, don't really know what it is, it's just an interesting shape. Now, let's do some more with this. Let's play around with some of these other tools. I covered these in other tutorials, but we'll have a look at them again in case you haven't seen them. So, fillet. Let's fillet this edge here by um, maybe 10 millimeters. And uh, this edge here, we'll take the sharpness off it, we'll make that 2 millimeters. And also over here, we'll make that one 5. So, that really changes the look of our profile now into something completely different. And now we may want to thread one of these edges. Again, I covered this in a previous tutorial, so I won't spend too long on it, but if we go to thread, we select the surface, we'll choose modeled, and um, we'll make that quite a fine thread. And there we go, so now we have a fine thread on the inside of that um, surface there. So there we go, that basically is a quick exploration of the um, Revolve tool and how it can be used to uh, create an interesting shape uh, here in Fusion 360. So if you found this tutorial useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, check out our other videos. Uh, we'll soon be moving on to some more advanced projects. Um, let me know in the comments section if there's any particular uh, feature you'd like to see you'd like to cover um, or you're stuck on uh, and I'll try and help you out. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.